Hi guys, it's Terry. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm a really visual person. So analytic reports <laughs> could be a bit uh, mind numbing for myself. So when I discovered Google's new um, in-page analytics, it, it really just it's actually quite exciting and I actually enjoy reviewing my analytics because it's very visual um, and it's very easy for me to see what type of users are doing what, clicking on what, 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 on, what on my site isn't necessarily needed. Um, so here I am, I'm in my last blog post and let me backtrack for a minute. To get to where I am, you go to your Google Analytics and once you're in your report, you go ahead and click on content and then a new page is going to appear and you click on in page analytics and it will take you right here. Okay. So I'm in my last blog post. And so the basic stats are right here that you see on your initial report page. Um, but the beautiful thing here is these little bubbles go ahead and tell you what percent of this 407 viewers clicked on each one of these bubbles. So let me just show you one thing here. If you notice, I click on this bubble, it actually, uh, turns three of them black. It means that those three are the same. They're linking to the same page. So for instance, here, 5%, um, and that 5% clicked and that's a total of 15. So why this is important is well, what links on your page were you really, really wanting to convert, really wanting them to, um, go ahead and click. For me, one of the ones, um, was I really wanted them to go back to my past articles. Um, and right here, 5.2% click, 13, I, you know, not fantastic, trust me. Uh, so, you know, it, it might have to be a little bit of work there. This to me is really, um, interesting. I have, I use the follow me button and this is where you click follow me and you're going to find all my social sites. So you're going to be able to find me at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Um, 84% clicked on, on this follow me. It's 211 people. I manage other accounts where I, I have other accounts in my Google analytics and they use like the, the social site buttons. No one clicks on those. But with that being said, I don't know for sure. I'm still digging into this and learning. I don't know for sure that they just click and they don't do a thing. So, um, anyways, I thought that was worth noting and it's something that I'm actually going to try to uh, analyze a bit further. So, it's very, very important to go ahead and review the whole post. Where are they clicking? What are they doing? Um, for instance, your sidebar, how important is the sidebar, this, these widgets? I mean, we just messy up our page and are they really, is it really important? Now, most popular posts, if you notice, they are clicking on the ones that relate to the, um, article. Like this one had a great click through, uh, and they didn't click on this one. Um, but they did click on two Twitter related, the ones that, oops, didn't relate, uh, they didn't click. So I'm thinking, well, shoot, should I actually have, um, each of my categories have a specialized widget that goes with it. So I say maybe for all my Twitter posts, I'm going to have a widget that only pulls the most popular Twitter posts. I, I think that that might be something I'm going to consider doing. Uh, again, you can see where they're clicking here. Um, and then this is also important. Your relevant posts should be enticing them to click. Are they clicking? Can you be doing your relevant posts a little bit better? This is also very interesting. I'm noticing on the last couple posts, no one clicks on my blog roll. Uh, and I'm thinking, shoot, should I maybe have that on a resource page? Is my blog roll not um, relevant to my visitors? So who knows? I mean, I don't think blog rolls get clicked an awful lot anyways, because usually if people, someone's been to your site, they're going to go ahead and they've already been through your blog roll. But you want to, again, we, we have these blog rolls here, these resources here, because we think we're actually helping our visitors, but are we? Okay. I want to go through quickly, um, how you can go ahead and segment in your regular Google analytics. You can actually set, um, custom advanced segments, which I highly suggest you do. I'm not going to get into that tonight but it's really cool. But here, go ahead and let's segment this a little bit. So I'm just going to show you two examples quickly. I'm kind of curious as to the click through pattern for my referral traffic. So that'd be coming from social sites versus my search traffic. So let's check referral. So for instance, this follow me, the referral traffic, 115 of those 212 clicked. Okay. Let's get down here to some of the links that I wanted to be clicked through. 
of the 14th, seven clicked of the referral traffic. Uh, that's seven again, the Twitter list, that's of the six, four. So, you know, they're, they're really clicking through. Let's quickly see what the difference is with search. How, how are the patterns different with the search people? On the follow me link, only 14 of the 213 click, which probably makes sense considering referral traffic's already coming from social sites, so that's already in their, in their makeup, um, but it's interesting. Let's go down here to the Twitter rank, which I wanted them to click through, only two of the 14, interesting. So as you can see, pretend that this is a landing page for converting for something that you're selling. That's going to be important. I will note, I'm being very transparent. I haven't seen anybody click on my subscribe, even though I've had a couple subscriptions today. But that's something that I need to, you know, I, I know I need to work on this um, email opt-in, but that's just proven it. Okay, that's enough for the segment. So let me get out of this. I want to show you one other cool feature. Then I'm going to show you something. Else. You can add a, fi a filter. So I'm just going to show you one, but there's several different filters. Visitor type, city, region, country, campaign, keyword. Uh, so yeah, I can go on and on. But I'm just going to do, I'm really curious to see how many were clicking that were from Sula Mesa. Okay. So 72 views from La Mesa. Did I do this right? Oh, wow. Okay. So of those 72, uh, 10 clicked on the home. Well, let's go down here to the Twitter. Um, so of those 72, uh, three clicked on my uh, Twitter rank. Now keep in mind, I live in La Mesa, so most likely this was me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Anyway, so, you know, I just want to show you that. So you really, really can fine tune like where, literally where these people are living, where your audience is living. Um, let's go ahead and show you something else. Sometimes it's easier to navigate when you're actually on your site, when you're in, so I'm right now in my Google analytics, all you have to do is open a new tab and go ahead and, and pull up your site and you can, it's easier to navigate your site. The same information is coming up and you can navigate it the same. I'm not seeing that you could do, and I could be wrong, but I'm not seeing that you could do the custom segmenting here. But I think it's much easier to navigate and really get a good feel. I mean, because look at this. Look, just scroll down. Like my most popular posts, um, recent posts, but look, nothing on the blog roll. If you have any questions or, you know, trust me, I am far from an analytics um, expert, but I think that if we're all trying to get found on the web, we can't ignore our analytics because the analytics are really helping us help our target audience. And that's what we're here to do. We're helped to serve. And in, in, when you do that well, you attract the business. So I would love to hear how you're using it, whether you like it, whether you dislike it. Um, please, in the comments below, uh, that'd be great. Have a good night.